Growing Mind Facts. Picture this. It's bedtime, and you can see all the signs. Your little one is rubbing those tiny eyes, letting out the cutest yawns, practically falling asleep in your arms. Perfect, you think. This is going to be easy tonight. But the second you put them down in their crib, all hell breaks loose. Suddenly they're crying like you've committed the ultimate betrayal and squirming around like the mattress is made of lava. And you're standing there thinking, seriously? You were just falling asleep. Why are you acting like sleep is your mortal enemy? Let me explain the science behind this and what actions you can take to help. Here's what's actually going on in that little brain of theirs. And it's kind of fascinating once you understand it. When babies get really tired, their brains don't just peacefully wind down like ours do. Instead, they go into overdrive. Think of it like this. If they've been awake too long, their body starts pumping out stress hormones, cortisol, and adrenaline, which are basically the opposite of sleepy time chemicals. Meanwhile, their brain is still buzzing from everything they experienced that day. All those sounds, sights, and new discoveries are still bouncing around up there. And here's the kicker. The part of their brain that's supposed to help them calm down and regulate emotions? Yeah, that's not fully developed yet. So when they get overwhelmed, the emotional part of their brain takes the wheel, and that's when you get the full-blown bedtime meltdown. Basically, they're too tired to fall asleep. I know, it sounds backwards, but that's exactly what's happening. Try this. The secret is catching them before they hit that overtired wall. Start watching for those early sleepy signals. And I mean, early. Maybe they're getting a little fussy, staring off into space, or doing that eye-rubbing thing. That's your cue to start the bedtime routine, not when they're already melting down. Create a predictable wind-down sequence that their brain can recognize. Maybe you dim the lights, put on some soft music, and do the same things in the same order every night. Their little brain will start to learn, oh, this is what happens before sleep time. And don't underestimate the power of comfort. Swaddling, gentle rocking, soft singing, whatever helps them transition from wide awake and wired to okay, maybe I can relax now. You're basically teaching their nervous system how to downshift. Supporting all this brain development with good nutrition, foods that contain omega-3s, curcumin, and alpha-GPCs can also help strengthen those sleep and emotional regulation pathways over time. And always remember, guide with logic, lead with love.